All right. One of the coolest things about producing the Hemp Fest is getting to know and meet and become friends and brothers and sisters with some incredible people that have put their lives on hold and become full-time activists. Full-time. For years and years and years. And Lee Berger's just one of those kind of people, man. And he's come up to our state, man, to tell you what he's got going on in his place, man. Give some Seattle Hemp Fest respect to my brother, man, Leland Berger. Hemp Hemp Hooray! Hemp Hemp Hooray! I hope you're having a hempy day. Industrial Hemp's the theme of this Seattle Hemp Fest, which is, you know, the Olympics of cannabis, hemp, pot, policy reform. We have, we have here over these two days, all of these people who are, who've come from all over the country, people from Washington, D.C., who are national leaders in our movement are here. There's such great opportunities to get educated and get involved, because the thing of it is, at the end of the day, marijuana is not gonna re-legalize itself, friends. You need to register and vote. Register to vote and vote. If you're here from uh, from Oregon at the THC Foundation booth, they, they're registering Oregon voters. Just by the Hemposium, the Hemposium staff are registering voters for Washington and, and for really anywhere else. And I don't know what it is in Washington, but in Oregon, just the fact that you're a felon doesn't mean you can't vote. The only time you can't vote is if you're actually physically in custody in Oregon. So, so uh, what's going on in Oregon now is that there are three initiatives that we're collecting signatures on for the 2010 election cycle. The one that's currently collecting signatures is the uh, uh, Oregon uh, uh, Cannabis Tax Act, OCTA. And uh, there again, they're, they have signature sheets at the THC Foundation. So if you're, uh, if you're an Oregon registered voter, Go sign that, that there. The other two that are uh, going to start collecting soon is the, uh, uh, an initiative that would create licensed and regulated dispensaries in Oregon, fix the Medical Marijuana Act, and ensure safe access for patients to medicine. Because the way it works now, there's always patients that are without medicine. We need licensed and regulated dispensaries in Oregon. The other thing we're working on is a constitutional amendment that would create a personal privacy right for adults to use, possess, cultivate, and share cannabis in all its families. And uh, what we have planned is to do some polling to discover which of these three initiatives has the best chance of, uh, of prevailing at the election. And I hope to have that polling completed and invite you to come to the National Normal Conference in uh, Berkeley, California, 17th, 18th, and 19th of October. And from there, I hope we'll be able to figure out what to do so that we can be working together instead of uh, each of us off working on our own things. That's mostly all I have to say, except, uh, except for this, you know, the, as with cannabis, medical or otherwise, nothing is, is for free. And, uh, and you heard what Vivian said about $200,000 to put this down, to put this on. Please, please, please kick down some cash into those orange boxes on your way out, all right? Thank you very much, brothers. Thank you, Lee.